Okay, so this is going to be a short episode on using the WYSIWYG editor. And uh, right here is the WYSIWYG editor, this sort of open uh, text field right here. Um, so as you can see, I'm on a uh, create new page uh, section. Um, you can title it whatever you want, and then when you put in your contents for that page, um, I will say this, uh, try and refer to the uh, style guidelines, um, and you can find the style guidelines at htctech.wordpress.com. Um, it has just a couple rules to follow uh, so that we keep some level of uniformity to the style of the website, um, but beyond those you can kind of uh, tool around with whatever styles you want, but there's uh, three or four sort of main rules of thumb to go by on there. Um, so you can find the style guidelines there. Uh, I do want to mention something. Uh, if you want a table, um, you can use this insert new table button, um, but then this thing pops up with lots of options and uh, I actually still haven't even gotten it to work yet. So what I'm going to ask instead is to, uh, for tables, use Microsoft Word or uh, probably whatever other um, sort of uh, typesetting word processing software you have, but uh, specifically Microsoft Word. Use Microsoft Word, um, create the table in Word as you would like to see it appear here in the web page, and then click this button that says paste from Word, and then just do it that way. So you'll select the table in Word, and then paste from Word. Uh, so copy from Word. In, when you're in Word, copy, and then click that button and paste from Word. Uh, also, so style guidelines, tables, uh, go to Word and then copy over from there. Um, uh, ooh, email addresses. Um, do not, uh, uh, use any H extra HTML or, uh, mail to links, um, that you might know of. All you have to do is just type the email address and the CMS will automatically recognize the email address. And then... When you publish the page, any email addresses that it recognizes, it'll link to a mail, uh, uh, it'll attach a mail to link to it automatically. Uh, beyond that, uh, if you want to put up any images or uh, links to other pages, um, obviously outside links, um, say you wanted to create a link, you click on the link button here. Um, and you can type in the URL www.google.com click insert and it'll create a link otherwise if you want to link within the page uh, we have tons of things you can link to from the CMS for example here are all the pages we have conveniently named with pages in the beginning uh, and then audio is listed next so if there's a, a sermon that you want to link to from this page that you want the users to look at or listen to, um, you can do that. And obviously, and if you can see uh, on the side, it says download versus pop-up. So if you, want, if you want the user to stream it, you can click pop-up, or if you want the user to download it, then you can click download. So lots of audio. Scroll down pretty quick. And then there's documents. And this is all stuff on the CMS. So, in images, if you don't see what you have, if you don't see uh, what you need up here, then obviously you need to upload it to the CMS and then uh, do that. These are the actual sermon pages, so if you want to link to a specific sermon page with any information that that sermon page might have, then you can do that as well, uh, or link to any events. So there's a lot of uh, uh, flexibility in what you can link to, and they have the link list pretty nicely organized. So, uh, 
you can use the link lists or you can actually use the physical URLs if you're linking to somewhere outside the website. And beyond that, everything else is pretty much uh, uh, pretty much user friendly and uh, self explanatory. Uh, the one thing that you may want to tool around with is the edit HTML. It brings up this page that has uh, basically what you see in HTML in the website hypertext markup language. So uh, if you need to do something specific, you can do that in here and then click update. Uh, but that's it. Post any comments, questions, concerns on uh, the uh, blog posts.